pulling workout, healthier shoulders, better paddling. Boom, quick, yeah. So that's a little more resistance. Kind of taking that shoulder joint through a full kind of circular range of motion. I'm Chris Mills with surfstrengthcoach.com, here with a fitness model, legend, father, surfer, Morzo. Kind of ways. Thanks, dude. I'm on crutches, so this guy's doing the workout today. Four movements going from a power to strength to endurance and then kind of a shoulder prehab exercise. In a sequence, just to build some work capacity, healthier shoulders, better paddling. So, four movements. First one, power pulls. If you don't have rings at home, buy some rings. If you don't have them at the gym, buy some rings or switch these out for some dumbbell movements or cable movements. He's pulling himself through as fast and quickly as possible. We're looking for power. We're not looking to totally fatigue the muscles. We're looking to move as quickly as possible. Think about that high speed paddling when you're kind of catching a wave. He can adjust the resistance by moving his feet further forward or back. Go about two more. Boom, quick, yeah. So that's a little more resistance there. Perfect. We don't need to go to exhaustion with these. We now go into a strength movement. Slower repetition, more resistance. Here we're working on more of a strength focus of pulling. He's pulling to a nice tight L position of the arms, looking on bringing the chest open and forward, squeezing between the shoulders. This movement you want to hit about eight to 10 repetitions. Maybe go one or two more, buddy. And then come on out of that. So we've gone power and strength. So now we start hitting a bit more on endurance. We call these circular rows. Pull out to that T position. Perfect. And now elbows come down and then release. So we're kind of taking that shoulder joint through a full kind of circular range of motion, hitting various aspects of muscles around the shoulder girdle. 15 to 20 reps here. We want to start tapping into those more kind of endurance energy system pathways. Maybe go three or four more. We're stopping them short, but you get the idea. 15 to 20. Last movement we refer to as face pulls generally. Bring your heels back a little more. This last movement doesn't take much resistance. Technique and control. Pull to that T position, bro. Yeah, good. Think of fist coming back. If it's too much resistance, just walk the feet back a little more. What people often try to do, go ahead and come on back. People often cheat these by bringing, go ahead and pull. We want elbows out to that T. If the elbows start coming way down here, it changes the muscular focus. This is kind of hitting posterior deltoid, posterior rotator cuff, mid trap, low trap, all these kind of scapular stabilizers, they help promote shoulder health. Here you want to be doing about 15 reps as well, higher, higher rep ranges. Cool, relax. Feel good? Yeah, great, mate. Really so wait, good. You do a couple sets or a couple circuits, maybe rest about one and a half to two minutes in between. You want all those little stabilizer muscles to be fresh before you go back into that high speed pulling. High speed, then strength, then some endurance work, healthier shoulders, better paddling. Thanks for being a fit. Thanks, man. Bro. Really enjoyed it. Cheers, Crutches man. suck. Thanks, guys. Check out surfstrengthcoach.com. Peace.